Hey everyone, welcome to my program Zoom Basics. I'm Jabez from the Niles Main District Library from the Digital Services Department. And today I want to show you how to use Zoom. Now we've been getting a lot of questions to how to uh, participate in our programs now that our programs are more virtual or how do we use Zoom for the first time. So today well, I'm going to show you all how to start a Zoom meeting or how to participate in a Zoom meeting and also how to install the Zoom on your computers. So let me share my screen momentarily. Now, downloading Zoom is quite easy. Um, it's really just one simple step. Now, the first thing you have to do is you have to go to an internet browser. It doesn't matter. It could be uh, Firefox, it could be Google Chrome, it could be Safari, whatever you're more comfortable with. And all you have to do is go to Google. You can just type this on the search engine. Just type Zoom download. Now, once you click Zoom download into the Google search bar, you would just scroll down to the first box where it says Download Center Zoom. You'll click on that. Now you're in the Download Center for Zoom, and it's right there. Just click on where it says Zoom Client for Meetings, and you'll just click on the Download button. Notice that on the bottom left of my screen, Zoom is downloading on my computer. So give it a few seconds to finish uh, downloading. All right, now that is completed, we're just gonna click on it really quickly. Now for PCs, it might look a little bit different, but it's the same steps. So pretty much it's just a quick introduction of what Zoom is, the description of where it's, it's gonna go, which is mostly your hard drive or computer, and then how much space it, it takes from your computer. Now I already done this already, so I'm just gonna exit out. So then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you how to set up a meeting and how to participate in the meeting. But before I do that, I'm gonna switch screens momentarily. So one second. So now that I have switched my screen, all I'm gonna do is click on the Zoom app, which is on the bottom right over here. Now it looks like a blue camera, so that's completely normal. If it's something different, then I would recommend you uninstall that app and then try it again. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna click on Zoom. So this is like the main menu for Zoom. So you have like four options. One is called New Meetings, which is typically an orange. Blue Plus, which is to join. Schedule. And then also to share screen. Now to share screen, that pretty much shares your actual screen, which I'm doing now. And your audience that is in your meetings is able to see what's on your screen. It could either be your desktop or internet browsers. So I would really be careful of sharing some really personal information in case you are sharing your screen. Now, lastly, schedule. Now that means schedule a, um, a Zoom meeting in the future. So that means in case you're celebrating someone's birthday, all you have to do, and you want to use Zoom, what you will do is you'll click on schedule. And now, this is really important. Now, this is just a scheduling menu. Now for the topic, it could just be anything. It could be your, it could, well, let's make it better, Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is coming up and it is, and let's just say we wanna have a surprise Mother's Day party at 12 and ends at uh, 12.30. And then what on the bottom right here is like your meeting ID which is really important because sometimes now, due to uh, security issues, that sometimes uh, Zoom meetings will require meeting ID, which is located here. And sometimes it will accept a password. So it could be any password you want. So right now, this is just like a random password uh, that Zoom provided us. But it could be something super simple. It could just be like lions, or it could be or essays, uh, 27. Something simple, something quick that your audience can do. And then lastly, um, just video settings and also put the schedule meeting into your calendar. And then once you're done with everything, just hit share. And then it's gonna open up your email and then it's gonna share your uh, Zoom meeting into your uh, schedule. So hit allow. So now as you can see, my Mother's Day Zoom meeting is right here and then to share your meeting with others, all you have to do is just copy this uh, URL. And you can do that either by just sending them an email or just uh, texting them the information. Uh, so normally what I would do is just copy the URL and just send it to others. And also I would include the meeting ID and password in case participants are having a difficult time 
joining your meeting. Nine out of 10, the link would work, but I would send everything just in case your audience are having difficulties logging in. So I'm gonna remove my calendar. Now to create a meeting, just click on the new meeting button. And then here I am. And then these are important features. So this is the first box where it says join audio. You always wanna click on join with computer audio. And then the last thing I wanna share with you all today is this bottom row right here. Now the bottom rows are very important. On the top left hand side is your mute. So if you click on that, the, obviously Zoom is not capturing your voice. If you want Zoom to hear your voice, all you have to do is just click on the unmute button and Zoom can hear you just perfectly fine. To stop your video, which I'm gonna do right now, just click on that. And then people are just gonna see either your initial or a picture of yourself. If you wanna monitor your participants, just click on the participants um, button right over here. And also chats, chats are really helpful if you wanna to talk to individual people or just as an overall group. This right here is to share your screen. And then lastly, the record button is just to record all your meetings. And this is hands down one of my favorite features. Um, once you're done with your meeting, Zoom will convert everything into your meeting into an audio and a video file. So where you can share both of those files into your guest. So that is Zoom Basics. All right, hope to hear from you soon.